Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So every year around this time YouTubers start posting Christmas wish list videos and Christmas shopping guides and gift idea videos. I've never actually posted a video like that before but this year I thought I would. However I thought I would give you some more sustainable and ethical options and ideas for your Christmas shopping this year. I think it's important to generally make an effort to support small businesses and businesses that maybe aren't so small but are ethical and sustainable and what better time to support these businesses than Christmas. I've tried to keep everything on this list quite cheap and affordable. The first present and idea I want to give you is for those beauty lovers and if you know anyone who loves makeup and specifically eyelashes I would definitely recommend checking out my friend Shania's new business. Um, her website is slplashes.com. I'll leave a link in the description as well as links to everything else I mentioned in this video. Her products are vegan, cruelty free, handmade and you're supporting a small business. I know for a fact that ordering from there would make her day. Everything is so so cheap on her website. Literally vegan cruelty free lashes for £2.50. Uh, these would make the perfect like small present, maybe a stocking filler. So there's plenty of small businesses on Etsy and Depop that sell small room decor items. I saw on Etsy there was a specific shop called Becky Doodle Stuff. I would definitely recommend having a look over there. And and another good idea would be art prints. There's an abundance of artists out there selling their art prints online and I feel like there's something for everyone out there. I would definitely recommend looking for art prints on Etsy and Redbubble. The next idea that I have is a macrame plant hanger. I came across this um, shop that does... I actually made a tweet a few weeks ago asking for small businesses to respond and share their products with me. One of the stores was a macrame store and they um, have like these really cute plant hangers so if you have a friend or a family member that really likes their plants I would definitely recommend having a look at those plant hangers they are so nice. The shop is called Catriona Jane Designs but as everything else it will be linked in the description. And other than the plant hangers, um, they do other wall hangings and other items as well. So definitely worth having a look. Next up, tote bags. You cannot go wrong with a tote. Um, there's so many designs out there. If you go on Etsy and search tote bags or totes, you will not be disappointed. They have some really cool designs. I came across a shop that does handmade corduroy tote bags and I am absolutely in love. I want one of those bags. Um, they look so, so cute. The corduroy ones are from a store called, um, what's it called? Threads by Josie W. Um, and I would also recommend looking at Brush and Bark. They have some really, really cute designs um, and I absolutely love them. Why not support a local restaurant by getting someone a voucher for a meal there? So if you and a close one have a favourite restaurant that you always like to go to, why not get them a meal voucher and you can go there for a meal. Another one for the plant lovers, if you know someone who loves plants, I have the perfect gift for you. So on Etsy there's a shop called Boho Painted Pots and they have the prettiest hand painted pots and they have the prettiest hand painted plant pots on there. I am in love. If I could I would definitely order from there but I don't think it's going to be very convenient for me like ordering a plant pot and taking it back home to Greece. I really really like those plant pots and they are the cutest. I would also recommend having a look on Estrid's website. Estrid is a sustainable, vegan, ethical all that jazz um, shaving brand. Um, they do razors and shaving products. Um, it's a very empowering brand. I've ordered from them before and I'm really happy with my purchase and actually the first thing I thought when I received my like my initial like package of like a, a razor and a few blades and stuff um, was that it would make for such a cute present. It comes in the cutest box and the cutest packaging. So yeah they also have other products other than razors. Um, 
they have like shaving cream and gel and whatever you can't really go wrong with accessories i feel like a very obvious one is face masks it's 2020 the year of face masks um so why not support a small business people sew them and sell them on depop a lot um i also like bandanas um i feel like they were a very popular accessory this year and reasonably so i can see why um but yeah, I think that that would be a cute little gift as well. Everyone uses notebooks and diaries, so why not get one from a small business? I would definitely recommend looking at Catherine Churn Designs on Etsy. Um, they have some really cute pattern ones. They also have some other items on there that are worth looking at, like totes and art prints, which I've already mentioned. I'm literally going to read a list of small jewellery stores on Instagram and Etsy and even Depop from my list. So we've got Lara's earrings. I've actually ordered from here. I had a really positive experience ordering from Lara's earrings um, and the store is on Instagram. Wild Fern gifts on Etsy. Peachy Girl earrings. Lavendermoon.shop. They have like a really minimal feel. Uh, Libby Designs underscore on Instagram or Libby's with a double S on Depop, West Coast Clay Designs, that was a mouthful. And yeah, there's plenty more out there. Again, if you go on Etsy um, or Depop and you look for jewellery, I'm sure you'll find some really, really nice uh, handmade jewellery. This is a little bit more tricky uh, because you have to really know the person's style. But if you feel like you know someone well enough to buy them clothes, um, some sustainable clothing brands that I would recommend looking at include The 100 Club, New Inn, um, I'm gonna completely butcher this and I'm so sorry but Rapa Nui, I'm not really sure how to say that um, and Beyond Retro, Lucy and Yak, this is where this top is from, um, I got it for Secret Santa, one of my housemates got it for me and I absolutely love it, it's really really comfortable and yeah I would definitely recommend having a look um, they have some really cute stuff on there so you can always buy people gift cards for either online stores or local businesses as I said before you could get like a meal voucher or like a gift card for a local coffee shop or like just a, a small business in general if you know someone who's a coffee lover or a tea lover then you could get them some nice coffee or tea or whatever they like to drink I also came across these sustainable calendars which I thought was a good idea because I feel like calendars are a really popular gift. Um, I used to get a calendar every year for Christmas growing up. I came across a brand called Amber Lotus. They use um, recycled materials in soy ink and for each item sold they plant a tree which I think is really cool when uh, businesses do that. If you want to buy for someone who's very into their skincare I would definitely recommend having a look at All Earth Mineral Cosmetics and EvolveBeauty.co.uk I know that on All Earth Minerals you can um, order a make your own like little box set um, and evolvebeauty.co.uk makes like all their products using sustainably sourced materials and what I thought was really cool is that they are made by hand in the UK in a factory that only uses renewable energy and I thought that was so so cool. Finally I would recommend handmade gifts. There is nothing more special than a handmade gift from you to a loved one I just feel like handmade gifts are just so special because you've put extra thought into it and made something specifically for this person. So yeah, why not make something, even if it's just a Christmas card, why not sit down, have a little crafting session where you just like make some stuff and make presents for friends and family. I'm actually thinking of doing a similar video where I recommend handmade gift ideas um, and show you how to make some stuff if you want. So if you would like to see that, definitely let me know in the comments and by giving this video a thumbs up. I really hope this video gave you a general idea um, of some Christmas presents that you could get for the people you love. I will leave 
as many of these products and things that I mentioned in the description as well as the tweet I mentioned it's basically a thread with lots of small businesses to look at and if you have any ideas that you think are worth mentioning why not let me know down below in the comments so I don't know why but my eyes really twitching and my voice has gone really funny so I'm going to say thank you so so much for watching and goodbye now um, and I will hopefully see you in my next video very soon. Bye! This is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or whatever that is. And, and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever. Drive home and think, well, I do have these things. Uh, and they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there.